here and today I want to talk to you a little bit about my dream. So if you haven't heard about my dream of Lit Carnival yet, that means I haven't trapped you in a corner and talked your head off about it. <laughs> it's basically this idea of bringing a fan-fueled book fair to the Hampton Roads area. I feel like there's already so many great and wonderful things happening in Hampton Roads and this is just one more thing to cater to those book lovers out there. I want this event to be a mashup. Think a Comic Con, think a Writers Conference and mash those two things together because I want to cater to readers but I want it to be a fun and engaging experience and maybe even something that gives people something to think about. So my theme for the first year of the Lit Carnival Book Fair will be Read Local. And I'm going to be making a whole other video about what Read Local means to me. But right now, I just want to explain why I think having an event like this is so important. I go to author and book events all the time at local libraries in the Hampton Roads area. And they are, they're great. I love them. The thing about libraries is it's where people go to get free content and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm so glad we have so many amazing libraries in our area because there are places who just don't have the same library resources. But libraries cater to readers and people who can't get resources elsewhere. They don't necessarily cater to people who want to buy books. Then there are locally owned bookstores. Yes, we have local chain bookstores as well, but I'm talking about locally owned bookstores. I love going into bookstores and just being part of that atmosphere and their environment. But here's the thing about bookstores, whether they're locally owned or chain stores, what have you, bookstores cater to people who want to buy books. It leaves out a lot of people who maybe just want to bargain shop or maybe who just want to get something for free. But it caters to people who like to buy books but not necessarily read books. I know people who buy books just because they look good on their shelves but they're not necessarily reading those books. And then there are writers conferences. I went to my first writers conference, um, the Hampton Rose Writers Conference in September and it was amazing. I loved it. I don't know why it took me so long to go and I plan on going to many more. But the thing about writers conferences is they cater to writers, not readers. It's a wonderful experience for anyone who is an aspiring writer, but again, it, I feel like it just kind of leaves out something for the people who just appreciate books for being books. And then you have the things like the, the Comic Cons and the Raven Cons and all those wonderful cons that are out there. You kind of get a mishmash. You get people who are interested in that very specific thing. But it doesn't necessarily praise or celebrate the book itself. And I'm talking, you know, print books, ebooks, audiobooks. There's a whole lot to be appreciated. And I want to create an event that takes all of those things puts them together and lets every person find their fandom and that's what Lit Carnival is all about and I hope that you like that idea and that you will join me in making this become a reality. I am seeking authors who want to be featured, I am seeking volunteers, I am seeking people who are just interested in going to this event because they're readers and they love books. Even people who don't love books would probably enjoy this event because of all of the great ideas that I have and that I'm hoping to collaborate more with others. So that's me, Toy Thomas, talking about my pitch for Lit Carnival. And I'm sure you've probably seen Carney crawling around the screen. And that is Carney the Bookworm and he will be the official mascot of the event. And he loves books just like me and I hope you will join us on this adventure. Bye for now.